Uh, this video is going to detail entering set points on any Crandall filling machine model that has a Rice Lake 420 plus indicator. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit the set point key the number of times for the value of the set point you want. So if you're looking for set point one, hit that key one time. And we're going to do that and it'll show you the current value that's in the indicator. Right now we have 12.5 kg. Now if I want to change that, I can simply enter in the value that I want. We'll go 12.6. And you'll press enter, which is also the tear key. And then it'll show BNDVAL. For our purposes, we do not change that. So once I've entered it, I hit the up key twice. That's also the zero key. There's a triangle indicating up. And once you've hit that, it'll go back to its normal value. Right now we're just sitting at zero with nothing on the scale. So if I want to change set point two, hit the set point key two times. It'll scan through and show the current value for set point two. And right now we're sitting at 13.5 kg. We'll change that to 14.0. Again, press the enter key. It'll show you the BNDVAL, band value. We don't change it. Just press up key twice. It'll show weight and go back to its normal value. Now, one of the mistakes that's made when entering set points, we'll show you. You hit the set point key one time. We'll show you the current value. If you press enter and you go beyond and hit enter again, It'll show you the value for band value, and it always has to remain zero. For our purposes, we do not use that. Again, you press enter one more time, it'll show you hysteresis. Hit enter. Needs to remain zero. Very important that those two remain zero. If you change that value, it will give you problems with your set points in subtracting from them, and they won't work properly. So you just go up and out, and you're going to be back to your normal display value. Again, if you just want to check your set point, you can just hit the set point key one time. It'll show you the current value. Right now we got 12.6. If I don't want to change it and I'm happy with that, it eventually will time out. I believe it's about five to eight seconds and then it'll go back to showing its current display. That's it.